Hello, I've got something a little bit different for you today. I'm going to be talking a little bit about Aslan's Xvium mod and mod pack installer. Um, this is the mod pack installer that I use. You can get it from aslan.com, direct from the source. Um, click the download and search in your download folder. Uh, it's here somewhere. There it is. Mod pack installer. Um, and that's what it looks like. Double click on that. Um, and it will start opening up and this video is basically just going to go through um, how you use the installer it couldn't really be any easier um, I can't think of any way it could be easier um, but it will let you um, select from all of the different various mods to pick which ones you want which ones you don't want um, I'll always click enable the images and previews because that will give you a good idea of what each mod will look like before you install it which means you kind of you can test it out before you even get um, get into game uh, get, a, get an idea of what it looks like um, and it's actually using this installer very easy to install mods and then if you don't like them just uh, reinstall a, a new selection um, and I'll talk a little bit about that um, later on the um, uh, license agreement is a uh, nice and short and just explains a little bit about um, how XVM works um, and where you can go to activate the stats um, and each version will have their change log. This is the important bit you need to make sure that it's going into your World of Tanks game folder. Um, once you click next the um, component selection screen will come up. You'll see here there's a XVM config <coughs> Oh, excuse me. There's an XVM config and a bunch of different selections, and each one of those will allow you to customize the XVM setup. Um, and well, you can see here it is highly customizable. Um, you can select from the different icons. Look at this. This is just a few, a few of the the huge range that you can do to really get sort of a, a personal look. Um, it's really down to your own personal taste what you what you like. Um, and I'm going to stick with the standard stuff. In fact, most of my most of my setup is the standard element. The over-target markers. Um, I don't actually want to use any of those, so um, I just don't select them. It's very simple. The great thing about this mod pack as well is it does tell you the size that each mod takes. Um, so you can have a look at the, each section, and if you don't like the idea that it's going to be installing. 60 megabytes of mods and you don't need to. Um, again here you can have a look, there's lots of different ways that you can look at the stats, um, different versions of it. Um, I'm actually recently not actually using any of the XEM stats so I'm just going to untick that. Um, and now I'm unticking it because every time you use Aslan's in installer it will um, remember what you had in your last in your last selection. So um, you can just unclick one mod and reinstall the pack and it will keep your, your your preferred settings and that goes across different versions as well um, see here I'm just going through just to show you some of the different previews um, there's a huge array of, of information um, so that's why the previews are actually very useful um, and you can click on a click on an item and it brings up the little preview next to it which is great um, so yeah, I'm just going through, what else do I need? Um, yep, yeah, that's useful, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, the, the large panel is, yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Um, I use the panel of hit point bars, no, not that one, that's the one. Um, it's got a, uh, a more relative hit point panel, um, and which means the medium panel, I mean, there are other versions. If you're using XVM, you can do color coded versions. Um, or the, the name color coded and the, the hit point bar the same color um, yeah so I mean it, you really wanna you can search for all of them I use this one search for all of the different ones that you like if you like it then use it if not then you can go for one of the standard ones you know or untick it and it will just revert to the default it's as simple as that um, <clears throat> the, the minimap is one thing that I do use a lot of the, the adjustments for the, uh, the line of fire, my 50 meter bar, the angle of the camera, 
um, showing the traverse of the gun <coughs> and the uh, max view range and, and that sort of thing and the uh, max draw range which is very very useful to have um, when enemies are spotted you know when you'll be able to see them or not. The uh, dynamic range circle will change depending on your view range so if you've got binos and they, they clip up then your view range will change on the minimap. Um, I have the full names of the tanks because yeah, I don't always understand some of the short ones. And with alternative, um, I'll have the the names, and then like that, it's the, the player names, and then like that, I'll be able to relate those to the information I'm seeing on on the player panels. Um, there are hit log settings. I tend to use the default, which comes up in the in the top left hand corner. And limit it to about five lines, so then like that it doesn't scroll down and, and get in the way of, of my game. I have the uh, XVM colors set to the uh, um, What Labs 10 color range, although, like I said, I'm not actually using them at the moment. Um, and with the six cents, uh, well, I'm going to keep the six cents settings because um, I'm going to change the icon myself later to my to my own icon. You've got lots of different options to choose from there, to be honest. Um, in the hangar, I have a few more options. Um, First of all, show the uh, the classes on on the vehicles. Change the default currency from gold to credits, which is very useful. And stick a clock in there because um, yeah, I, I'm a, I'm quite busy. Can't always stay there playing tanks. I wish I could, but I need to know the time. Um, and change the carousel. I do only have a one line carousel. Enlarge the the uh, icons, and then I can stick some more stats in there. And that just gives me a little bit more information about each tank. Um, the zoom settings, uh, the scrolling settings I have a standard, but I have the zoom out, so up to 100 meters out, and that just helps you look around corners a little bit better, gives you a little bit more information. Uh, you can see here I've got the scope shadow remover, that's very important because when you zoom into uh, to sniper mode you'll be able to see more clearly. And auto aim indication plus is the auto aim mod that allows me to um, more quickly um, click auto aim onto onto enemies. I don't have to have them on the the pinpoint on my on my target. Um, this uh, other mod as well. Um, by clicking backspace, I will be able to see what skills my crew has. Perfect because I never remember what they got. Um, there are lots of um, uh, crosshair mods. Um, for a while, I was using this standard crosshair with uh, with extra stuff, um, but. Now I don't really notice the difference. It wasn't in the last the last set that I used, so um, yeah, I don't think I really need it to be fair. Um, often people will use alternative crosses, and there are lots of good ones out there. I prefer to keep it nice and simple. Um, the only other thing I've got here in this section is the is the multi hit log, which just tracks my W and eight my damage uh, in the top right hand corner, just to give me an idea of how I'm doing in each game. Um, what else have I got going on here? Um, oh yes, I do have a received damage announcer, but there isn't the version that I normally use at the moment. Um, uh, no, look at this. See, look at this one. It's got so much information there. Um, yeah, that's not going to work for me. Uh, oh, I suppose I'll have to use this one for now. Um, and what I'll do is I'll keep a keep an eye on on the mod pack and if the version that I was using before becomes available again then it will be a simple matter of um, of reinstalling, selecting that one and reinstalling those mods using the installer. It's nice and simple, just tells me who's shot at me, what they've shot me with and what their expected reload should be. Um, very useful information for someone like myself who well it's not good enough or, or, or plays enough to, to remember all of the reloads. Um, there was one other one that I wanted to try, although I don't think I really come across it very much. Um, that's the, ah, the Battle Assistant SPG. Um, just gives you a, a pretty cool, uh, almost sort of third-person view for um, for using artillery. Um, I only have one artillery in my in my garage, so yep, that may be useful. Probably not, but I'm going to do use it anyway. And finally, um, session stats. I've been using locker stands minimalist sessions um, you'll have a look here I think mainly because it's a smaller version um, it's nice and neat you can use the, the bigger version which gives you lots more information I don't really understand a lot of it this is enough for me nice and simple just like me and we're good to go um, 
lots of sound mods and crew sound mods and all these sorts of other things. Um, I see the testing mods not available just yet. Uh, click OK when you select your selection. When you're going in uh, new, I recommend a clean install. What that does is it just cleans up your ResMods folder. Um, if you're um, if you're going to be or reinstalling just to add in one new mod to it, then you don't necessarily need to do a clean install. Um, it'll give you a rundown of your of your selection, and then it's installed, and you're done. Yep, that's it. That's as, it's as simple as that. Um, you can then go straight to XVM to enable the stats. I'm not going to do that. What I do need to do is get my um, my six cents. So I've got that in a file somewhere. Where did I put that? Well, first of all, let's. Um, uh, you see Aslan's set. Add some information and some files to the uh, to the core folder. Uh, here you go. There, there's Aslan's. As an installer options, and actually those um, ensure that when you come to reinstall some mods, it already has a, a cache of what you had in before. Um, yeah, you see that's the damage announcer. Might be I might have the old file somewhere. Uh, now, where is the XVM Aslan? Nope, nope. Uh, oh, uh, sure it said resources XVM res. Ah, oh, there we go. Six cents. Um, now. So I found the six cents. I'm going to grab my one. It's in the war game folder, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Where did I put it? There we are. And oh, there it is. Uh, copy and paste. Replace the file. And we're good to go. Perfect. So here we are in the garage, and you'll see well some slight differences. Got my um, carousel down the bottom. Um, single line because well, I've got lots of tanks but uh, not that many tanks and it uh, allows you to select them by um, various different options uh, selecting more than one tier for example brings up all of those uh, medium tanks or light tanks or heavy tanks whichever your option does um, you'll see there are stats within each of the icons which is why it's useful to have the extra, um, the extra large icons there um, you'll see the session stats here mm, not be doing too great today um, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, the gold. Well, it's not gold. It's now automatically done as credits. Um, now let's get to battle. You'll see the um, hit bars on the left and the right. Both teams have their own hit bars. I do have the tracker up there. The hit tracker is on that side. I haven't obviously shot anything, so um, nothing's popping up there yet. And the um, the mini map. You'll see the various uh, workings of the mini map. The 50 meter um, radius bar, which is very useful. Zooming out again. You see how useful this can be in a game. Um, I'll be able to see from here if uh, any of those trees get knocked down, for example, which can be uh, can be quite advantageous. Um, but it also means that you get a good view of the battlefield see what's going on around you um, and you just scroll in, in and out of it it's very simple or easy uh, backspace that's my crew skills perfect know what I can deal with now I've got six cents um, Ready to fire. there it's gone off um, and I'm still going anyway and now we can see the, the hit tracker and the uh, damage announcer one in one go um, now that was a bounce so it's come up in grey let's see if I get hit <coughs> uh, let's be back a little bit. Uh, you'll see I, I am using colorblind mode at the moment, although um, in some of the replays it doesn't always seem to seem to work right. But we'll see what what the issue is with that in the future. Uh, nope, still missing. And you see, although I've got a zoom out mod, I don't have any um, different zoom in mods. Um, I don't believe Aslan's mod pack actually allows that anyway. It doesn't it doesn't have any of them. Um, uh, or if it does, it normally tells you whether or not it's uh, banned on on a on server that you're that you're using. So do check the mods and always, like I said, always check with your servers um, to see which mods may or may not be permitted. Um, you'll see <coughs> you'll see um, the 
the hit tracker again, managed to get some more information there on uh, when I got a shot, and you'll see that come up, there it is. Um, this time been hit by uh, APCR, it's giving me the, the reload time, who hit me, um, he's right there in front of me, you know, he's it's just giving me that information, I know what time I've got before he's going to, to be reloaded. Um, so yeah, there you have it really, it's, like I said, Aslan's mod pack, it's not the only mod pack out there, it's the one that I've been using most recently, um, and the one that I uh, find has all the mods that I enjoy using, and, and um, you see I've selected a few, lots of people will select lots more mods, you can see many YouTube videos with um, World of Tanks set up which looks completely different, like, like nothing you've ever seen before. Um, and yeah, that's fine for some people. I prefer to keep mine as vanilla as possible with just a little bit extra information just to give me a little bit more info just to make it a little bit easier for me to understand what's going on to be honest. Um, as I said initially, uh, the, the mod pack itself, if you wanted to, if I wanted to now reinstall uh, another selection of mods, I could go to the mod pack installer um, and go through the process again, but this time when I uh, when I start it up, it will already have my previous selection saved. So if I didn't want one of the mods, I could just untick it. And if I wanted to try a new mod, then I could just tick that one. And <coughs> then I can click the install button, and it would replace any of the, uh, the old mods with the new mods, as long as you do the the clean install, and you'll be fine. Um, and it's really as simple as that. Um, I would recommend it. I would always recommend that you get Aslan's mod pack from Aslan's uh, website itself. Um, you may find that your um, uh, antivirus flags it up, uh, or it might not recognize it or, or find it suspicious. Um, and it's probably just because it's not as common a file as, as many antiviruses are used to, and it does want to make changes to your computer. <coughs> so, um, yeah, uh, enjoy using Aslan's World Pack. You can keep up to date with it at aslan.com. I'm going to insert the um, link in the description below. And if you found this useful, then please do um, like and subscribe. Um, if you've got a comment or want to know about um, anything that's come up in the video, then do leave a comment. Um, it does help me realize that I'm not sitting here on my own, to be honest. And um, yeah, there we go. So that's, well, that's my selection of mods as well. Uh, I suppose that's kind of two videos in one, really, isn't it? Uh, and yeah, so thanks for coming. And I will be back next time with another, um, another computer-based one, actually. I've got something quite cool, which um, is not a mod, but it is a mod. But um, it's for all of you. So um, until next time, guys, you've been oinked.